Hello everyone. Today I'm here with my video on the question and answers of the chapter The Sound of Music Part 1 by Deborah Coley. This is for the students of class 9 from the book Beehive. The Sound of Music Part 1 is based on Evelyn Glenn who listens to sound without hearing it. She is a great inspiration to the youth of the world. So let us start with question and answers. If you have any problem, I have my live session also of this chapter. Do watch that for better understanding. And now let us start with the question and answers. Question 1. When and how was Evelyn's hearing problem noticed? Evelyn was only 8 years old when her hearing problem was noticed by her mother Isabel when she did not respond to, call, to a call for a performance on piano. However, her loss of hearing was gradual due to nerve damage and her deafness was confirmed at the age of 11 when her poor academic performance forced her parents to consult a specialist. Question 2. How did Evelyn Glenn respond to the discovery of her deafness? On learning about her deafness due to gradual nerve damage, Evelyn Glenn felt at first that her future was dark and bleak. But instead of giving up, she decided to lead a normal life like other children and pursue her dream of learning music. Question 3. Who advised Evelyn's parents to take her to a specialist and why? Evelyn managed to hide her growing deafness from students and teachers for some time. However, by the time she was 11 years old, her performance in school deteriorated. It was then that the headmistress advised her parents to consult a specialist. Question 4. What were Evelyn's feelings as she stood on the platform waiting for the train in London? The answer is, as she stood on the platform, Evelyn felt both nervous and excited because she was waiting for a train in London to take her to her dream destination, the prestigious Royal Academy for Music. She was anxious as she was a young 17-year-old from the farms of Scotland going to join such a prestigious music institute. Moreover, she was profoundly deaf but despite her disability, she had made it to the Music Academy. And this is the picture of Royal Academy for Music in London. Question 5. Why was Evelyn Glenn going to face a bigger challenge at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London? Evelyn Glenn was passionate about music and would not let anything stand in her way but studying music at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London was a challenge for her for two reasons. Firstly, she was deaf and in the second, she was brought up on a Scottish farm. It was a challenge for a deaf village girl to compete with other singers who had perfect hearing. Question 6. Most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist Ron Forbes spotted her potential. How did he respond to it? When her teachers discouraged her from pursuing a career in music, Ron Forbes, the percussionist, encouraged and helped Evelyn to continue with music. He noticed her potential and decided to help her develop it. He told Evelyn, 
to train different parts of a body to sense musical notes. He tuned two drums with different notes to make her sense the higher ones from the upper part of the body and the lower ones from her waist down. On the right side, you can see a picture of Evelyn with Ron Forbes. Question 7. I had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations, says Evelyn. How did she do this? The answer is, under the guidance of Ron Forbes, Evelyn learned to listen through different parts of her body other than her ears. Her mind and body became sen sensitized to notice and differentiate various sounds and vibrations of music. Her body compensated for the loss of hearing with her awakened and sharpened senses in other parts of her body. Question 8. How does Evelyn regard her own success? The answer is, Evelyn is extremely modest and does not consider her achievements to be heroic deeds. She feels that if one is focused on the goal and puts in hard work, one is sure to succeed. She says, if you work hard and know where you are going, you'll get there. This is a picture of her playing the drum. Question 9. What kind of recognition did Evelyn get at the Royal Academy of Music? When Evelyn was 17, she joined the Royal Academy of Music. She scored the highest marks in the history of the Academy. She was one of the most brilliant students of the Academy and won many top awards during her three-year course. Question 10. How is Evelyn a source of inspiration to people who are in any way disabled? The answer is, Evelyn's achievements gained through determination and hard work are an example for other handicapped people. They gain confidence from her example and believe that they too can achieve their goals in life by overcoming their challenges and disabilities with firm determination. Question 11. What did James Blade say about Evelyn's music? James Blades remarked that God may have taken away her senses of hearing, but he has given her something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. She is a talented musician who expresses music so beautifully. Question 12. What is Evelyn's contribution to percussion? Evelyn has contributed to percussion by securing for it a front place in orchestra. She has shown how the music of percussion instruments is deeply moving and touches the hearts and emotions of people. Question 13. If you work hard, and know where you are going, you'll get there, remarks Evelyn Glenn. What does it reveal about her character? The answer is, Evelyn's firm determination, her hard work and her focus on her goal are well revealed in her statement. These values of her character have enabled her to successfully overcome her handicap of deafness. Though she developed hearing impairment at the age of 8 and became profoundly deaf by the age of 11, she has never let it become an obstacle in her way to success. Evelyn did not let her disability stand in her way. The encouragement and training provided by percussionist Ron Forbes paved the way for her advancement and she stuck to the part with unshakable self-confidence. It was this confidence and faith in herself that gave her courage to give audition for Royal Academy of Music, London, where she received the top most scores and later awards. Evelyn delights her audiences. In 1991, she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious Soloist of the Year Award. 
Evelyn is very hard working. Evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic. I have just got to work often harder than classical musicians, but the rewards are enormous. She believes that no goal is unachievable for those who work hard and are focused on the goal. Despite her disability, Evelyn rose to great heights as a musician. When talking of music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones and even in my hair. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips. By leaning against the drums, she can feel the resonance flowing into her body. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through the bare feet and up her legs. With her earnest efforts, she moved from orchestra to solo performances and eventually became an internationally renowned percussionist owing to her command over a large number of instruments. Her courage and confidence to rise above her disability has made her a source of inspiration to all. Apart from regular concerts, Evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals. She also gives high prior priority to classes for young musicians. And Richland of Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says she is shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is nowhere that they cannot go. Question 11. Evelyn says that her achievements are not heroic. Comment. Evelyn Glenn did not let her loss of hearing get her down. She was determined to make a career in music and with the help of percussionist Ron Forbes, she trained herself to feel music through every part of her body. She never looked back from that point onwards. She toured the United Kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16, she had decided to make music her life. She auditioned for the Royal Academy of Music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the Academy. She gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances. At the end of three year course, she had captured most of the top awards. And for all this, Evelyn doesn't accept any hint of heroic achievement. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. And she got right to the top, the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule. According to Evelyn, aim of a person, sheer determination and hard work is the mantra for success. There is nothing heroic about it. I hope this video was helpful to you. I have tried to cover all the points of the chapter. Stay tuned for part two of The Sound of Music. Till then, bye.